are the podcast of the people. We're the voice of the voiceless. We read your tweets right here on hashtag tweet the table. And at Katie First Lady says, well, both shows I think had great matches tonight. No matter who you liked, I think they were both enjoyable. Hashtag AEW Rampage. Hashtag SmackDown. Watch everything whenever you want, wherever you want. Hashtag tweet the table. Now, I will say, I think I enjoyed SmackDown more than I have recently. Now, um, interesting set of events here is what I want to zero in on, right? So all the way leading up, we get this, you know, Tony Khan's like, oh, you guys are on the show Friday night, huh? And, oh, and you're going to run a 30-minute overrun? Well, now I'm doing a buy-in. And, and he was like, oh, you can go commercial-free? i got more money than you. I can do that longer than you, but okay. right? He's getting a little chippy with it. Um, and maybe that's to stir up controversy, right? Controversy creates cash, if you will. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. But uh, interesting. And the ratings come out, and they both kind of won, if if you will, right? And it depends on what you're looking at and who you're asking and what you know demos you're breaking apart. Um, so, yeah. Well, so uh, here's the thing. Here's the thing. And everyone knows who's listened long enough or even through this episode, yeah. you will find out I am AEW through and through. Love AEW. It's my favorite promotion right now. Yeah. That is where I go mm-hmm. to consume my wrestling. And then I check in on all the other places, right? I still do not understand why anyone right now is watching WWE. Yeah. Just, just going to be don't. honest with yeah. you. However, when we're talking about ratings, I don't... You can slice a pie 15 different ways. It's still a fucking pie, right? Mm-hmm. Like, SmackDown had more viewers. Oh, like, yeah. I don't, because here's the thing. Yeah. I don't know why we, mm-hmm. IWC, and the Wrestle Talks and the What Cultures of the World, report on this because uh, on like demos for two reasons. One, uh, we're not advertisers, so we don't care. Yeah. <laughs> right? Yeah. We and don't then shit. two, why do we care about the financials Ooh, they, of right. billionaires yeah. of right. like, just put out a good product. Yeah. Oh, so again, 700 and whatever it was on FS one mm-hmm. beat the 586. Now yeah. again, that's two hours earlier in the day oh, versus sure. one hour later in the day, but still like yeah. they won. Oh, of course. Now. So, you know what Tony Khan, I think says, and, and he probably is coming at it from that financial point. And yeah. I do know from some aspect of tv advertising if you list your total ratings and then you said but in 18 to 49 we did this and then in you know 49 to 65 we did this like 18 to 49 they're gonna take that beating out the next three combined because that's who has the fucking money thereafter that's who has the you, you follow oh, what i'm saying no i know so, but i guess my point is why is do like, we give a shit why I do we yeah, care I know yeah, that, yeah that's well, and that's, that's why I said they both kind of won, I guess, depending on what portion you're talking about. And the thing he's grasping at is when we went head to head in the demo Ruby that the Soho motherfuckers and, that are going to yeah. keep paying us to keep doing this, I beat your ass. You know, and yeah. he didn't beat his ass, but you know what I mean? It was close. Right. And, you know, to me, it spoke more to when people talk about the, you know, SmackDown does 2 million versus, you know, like on, normally when they're on Fox. But then when you show up on FS1, that points out to me, it's like you are you benefit so much from Fox that people yeah. are – like it's in so many homes for free. So mm-hmm. touting uh, 2 million people watching it is so unimpressive to me because it's like, yeah, these are people who have seven channels. Mm-hmm. And <laughs> mm-hmm. y- you know what I mean? They normally never got you, but here you are, right? Like so now, now it says something that a network's going to take that chance on you. You follow me, but like, right. it's, but, but it's like a dying, it's also, aging medium. Well, in the future, right now yeah. it's not right. No, like, well, I mean, it's it's de- it's declining in its v- age of viewership. We'll say that, right? But Increasing Fox is still, but Fox's but, mass singer is still out. Oh yeah, of course. You know, oh, ten of yeah. other shows. And again, so Fox it's is, that availability, right? Right, but yeah. like what I'm getting at is Fox is like still a company that you want to be on right it's a multi-billion dollar you know content platform of course absolutely but again to your point yeah 2.1 million let's just say that's Mm -hmm. the average but then when you go to a cable channel you only bring seven hundred eighty thousand. right that's the part that should be concerning for you regardless of what aw did right you should be concerned about your own stuff because like we hear roman reign saying like well that's a hardcore audience and we're first of all if we can talk about that roman reign you know, interview, you heard about the clips of him saying this. He says, 
well, he's like, you know, AW, like they have a hardcore audience and that's like, they, they, they draw that in. He's like, we're going for a much more mainstream. We're trying to bring in that hardcore audience and the mainstream audience and the everyday fans with quality storylines, which pissed me off beyond belief that he fucking said that. Um, but here's the thing now that we see Roman, your hardcore and core fans are that they're not following you from Fox because like, you know what I mean? Like they're watching on Fox because like, that's what's in front of their face. It seems. Yeah. It's a you destination I mean? channel. Like, yeah. yeah. Sometimes families say, Hey, what's on TV tonight? Well, let's check NBC. Let's check Fox. Let's check CBS and let's mm-hmm. check ABC. And then from there, let's check, you know, whatever well, food network. We've been stuff talking about this for years. Is. You're not bringing in that wide variety of audience because everything has been telling us this for years like their fans are like 55 and older Mm -hmm. (laughs) you know what i mean so it's like they need to do something about that if they think this is going to continue long term because we've said this all along we wondered like who the number two that could ever show up would be because we kept saying like it would have to be somebody with money and nobody in wrestling had the money well now somebody does they have the television connections they have the family name they have the money, and they apparently have a real deep desire to make you look bad. So now it's going to get real interesting. We've seen WWE battle out of this, but that's not when it was a 70-year-old senile old man. I don't want to say mm. senile. That may be improper. But yeah. I, I, I would argue there's probably some senility in most 70-year-old men by nature. So I, I don't know. I don't know how this is going to go for them, how well it's going to go for them. Now, corporations exist off their brand names for a long time in America. So oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Knows? People are still drinking Diet Coke, even though that is fucking dirt water. Yeah. And it's because it's a Diet Coke, right? right. So, um, it should have, like, kill you. <laughs> well, and it's just gross. Yeah. Like, fucking. Yeah. Anyhow. Yeah. Um, I, look, but, but again, this is where I, I, I enjoyed this conversation more than, then the hey, did you know what's oh, gonna happen yeah. in a Survivor Series? Yeah. The Rock's coming. Like, shut the fuck up. That stuff I don't like yeah. to talk about at all. This stuff is interesting because it is business, right? And business mm-hmm. is interesting just across the board in sports, entertainment, wherever it is, right? However, for me, I don't give a fuck what WWE does, yeah. right? Like, it's yeah. bad television. It's bad storylines. Yep. Like you said, Roman Reigns saying compelling television with who? Yeah, your twenty four seven champion who just flips with with your tag team champions who lose constantly. What about whoever it is? So now we, we are zeroing in on again. Let's say eighteen to forty nine year olds, right? Because that's the and key that, demo. Hold on, hold yeah. on. That we've talked about this before, uh-huh. and I will say it on yeah. blue in the face. Such a forty nine year old yeah, and an eighteen year old have yeah. nothing in common. Yep. Oh, I know. But let's draw those numbers out. And what they like to point out was that wide range of people, right? Let's say people of of working age, even though people are working past 40, you know what I mean? That kind of thing. But uh, more of them watched Ruby Soho than this Roman Reigns Brock Lesnar contract signing. Well, yeah, because it's action. Yeah, right. Right? Like, as as much as we love stories, and we do, eventually you got to have that payoff of a match, right? And with Brock well, Lesnar and Roman Reigns, we talked about this off air, it, there was no new chapter yeah. told. Well, it was we just know what happens the same. with these contract signings. Well, yeah, it, it's a tired trope that mm-hmm. they always use. But on top of that, there was not – you could tell the moment he sat down and looked arrogantly at Roman Reigns that he was going to say, well, Paul Heyman helped me with fill in the mm-hmm. blank, right? So, like, I yep. tra- I checked in, right? I just checked in. I said, well, well what's yep. going on? And I saw Brock Lesnar do this, Bruh! and then he sat down, and I go, well, we're not going to get a confrontation. Yeah. And we're not going to get any – all he's going to say is something about Paul Heyman. Paul Heyman's going to go, Ooh, and that was cool six weeks ago. Yeah. I'm done. So I went to Ruby Soho, and again, here's the thing. I don't even really like Ruby don't Soho. Don't like Ruby much. Soho, yeah. I know. Like, I like her song, or yeah, I like the song from bad. Rancid, and I yeah. like her. She's still fine. not a fine. dislike. Right, it's but just, she's not a destination wrestler. Right. If you were to tell me she's going to Impact next week, I'm not tuning into Impact, yeah, right? I'm never seeing her she, again. <laughs> but, like, she is fine. Yeah. I, I, I like her matches, and I like who she is. I'm not I'm not trying to discredit her, but yeah. I tuned in right back to AEW because yeah. I knew nothing but new from WWE. It was something new, and this is why we want to ask the folks, like, why are you still watching WWE? Because here's things I would like to see in comparisons, right? We This is more what I like about, let's say, we're having this new Friday Night Wars, maybe, right? It's not going to be any 
Disney in the future. But maybe it does, right? Maybe they get a second hour and that first hour is, you know, AW gets a second hour and maybe they're battling, right? But I would rather talk like what was – like they put on – Roman Reigns and Brock Lesnar in a contract signing. They put on at the same time Ruby Soho versus whatever. Like, that stuff's interesting to me. Be like, yeah, well, like, I, I like this creative decision better than that one, right? Like, and this kind of stuff. And so to me, it's, it's when we saw, I saw a stat about, like, how many matches that hadn't been done already this year were on AW Dynamite versus the WWE shows was astounding. Like, there was, like, four on on SmackDown that week when there was like 12 on the Dynamite. Like, they they don't cycle through the same shit over Mm -hmm. and over and over again. Each week, even though they're telling some consistent storylines over a thing, we're not seeing the same fucking match redone three weeks in a row. We're not seeing the same fucking promo being told three weeks in a row. You're getting new... It's a different show every week. It's a fucking, it's a goddamn, I, I'm borrowing this from Bully Ray on their, um, you know, their pocket, whatever they do. Uh, it feels like a goddamn rock concert every week. It feels mm-hmm. like I'm here for a party. And that's I not will. the same with WWE. Oh, a million percent. And November 3rd, they're coming into town. I'm very excited because I know it's going to be a different presentation than the just void of joy yeah. that is Monday Night Raw. Uh, however, I will point out, because I know someone will point it out to us, uh, AEW and Sting typically yeah. tells the same story over yes. a couple of weeks. And oh, of course. Now, even then, yeah. even then that was fun. But you remember the t- Team Taz and Sting thing? Yeah. We kind of got a little tired of that. Anyway, oh, yeah. I just wanted to point that out before oh, someone else examples. does. 